G'day guys, welcome to another episode. Today, we're on the stunning Mandra Estuary. The conditions could not be any better and we're chasing a few blue mana crabs. Put a bit of spleen in this one. The, um, the water is that clear today. It's probably not like anything I've seen here before. The water is that clear. We are in probably only a meter, like one meter of water. The water's that clear, you can see the crabs. So we're almost chucking the nets on top of the crabs. And that's how we've been finding a few so far. I don't think I've ever seen it this clear where you can just see crab upon crab upon crab all over the place. Got him. No one here. That's what we're after though. Taking the net. Oh. It's got the net. Oh, <laughs> oh my Did god. You get it on... Yeah, I think so. Oh it's no. Enormous. That is huge. It's taking the net. Look at oh, it dragging it's it. Moving it. That's because I kept going like that. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder if he's let it go now. It's not moving now, I'd say it's let it go. Yeah, probably I'd say all the bait would be gone. There's big crabs sitting over there. How clear this water is. Got him. Sides looks a bit better than those last couple. Check that one on the old measure. Yes, that one's oh, it in. Is? Oh, yeah. Good. Good. There's a keeper. Oh, there's one sitting on the edge of it again. Got him. There's two in there. Oh, the other ones will be a tiny bit too small. That one looks alright though. Too small. Oh, the nice here, love. No, oh, thank you. This will be too small. Easily too small. Nice looking 
crab. Yep. Oh, let's check this. Very close. He's in. He's going to be almost through that way. Look at that. Yeah. Let's touch, touch. Yeah, touch, touch. All right. That's in. Ooh, lucky. Almost threw it away. Six. Managed to catch six crabs on the beautiful Manja estuary. And what we're going to do today is make a chili crab. However, it's a little bit different to some of the other chili crabs I've made. And I have made one on the channel before with a big mud crab. And that is, you know, just sensational to eat a mud crab that way. That chili crab is uh, a little bit more sort of based paste, base paste orientated and then you sort of cook around that. Whereas this one is just all fresh ingredients, sort of finely chopped, all going in together, and then steaming the crab in the pot to make your chili crab. Let's get into it. The first thing that we need to do is to prepare our crabs. So for this recipe, I'm gonna use two crabs. So we'll jump over to the sink and prepare our crabs, just clean them up a little bit. Okay, so very simple to start with. We just need to break open the crab, remove the carapace. I'm just gonna take those gills out as well. So just give the crab a little bit of a clean up. So you can see they're pretty dirty. So we'll give that a little wash out with a bit of fresh water. Salt water would probably be preferable for this, but I don't have any, so that's all right. Pretty good. Right, same thing with the second one. Carapace straight off. Nice and easy compared to a mud crab. Let's get rid of all that guts, get rid of the lungs. There's still a little bit of gunk in there, but a bit of fresh water will get rid of that. Ah, that's looking good. Okay, so we've got those two crabs that we're gonna use. Just gonna halve them. So straight through the middle. So we're gonna end up with four pieces of crab. Straight through the middle. Just to get a little bit of flavor into the crab claws itself, I'm just going to give them a little bit of a whack with the back of the knife, just so it breaks it slightly. Oh, a bit of juice flying up at me. So each of those claws, give, giving it a tap with the back of the knife in both the, the top and bottom part of the claw. And that, for the crab, is all done. So next it's just about preparing our herbs and spices and bits of veg. So to start with, let's get going with a chili. Now with this one, I'm not making a paste like in a sort of traditional chili crab. This one is just about making everything nice and fine with the chopping and it will all go in together. Now, again, because it's all gonna go in together, I'm gonna to chuck it all into this one bowl here. Got, I'm gonna do one and a half chilies. Top of that chili's not really nice, so we'll skip that. But it's gonna be one and a half chilies into this for our two crabs. Next, we've got two cloves of garlic going in and everything is just gonna be going into that one little bowl that I've already got there. OK, 
Okay, so next we've got a thumb size piece of ginger going in. And we'll just really try to get this into little matchsticks. Nice and fine, or as fine as I can get it because I'm not a professional chef, but as fine as I can do it. Next, we're gonna cut up some onions, so half a red onion and a few bits of spring onion as well. And I'm just gonna chop the ends off three spring onions. These don't have to be too fine. We're gonna chop those as well. And that's gonna go into our onion dish. So next we're gonna put in the zest of a couple of limes. Uh, if you wanted to, you can put in a lime leaf as well, a couple of lime leaves, but I'm just gonna go with the zest. So we'll grate that up nice and finely. Again, so we're ready and prepared for later. We're going to chop the tomatoes up now as well, so they're good to go. So, dice, you can see how not sharp my knife is here as well. Okay, so that's all our bits and pieces cut up and along with some sauces that I'll talk you through in a few minutes, we're set to go. So for me personally, because I'm not a chef, I like to have everything sort of cut and prepared and ready to go. So as we're actually doing the cooking, it's a little bit easier to manage everything. So that's everything prepared on this side. Let's get the pan going and we'll get our ingredients in. All right, hot plate is on, pan is on. Let that heat up nicely so it's nice and hot and then in goes a nice big lug of olive oil. In go our chilies, garlic and also our ginger and our onions as well. So the red onions and the spring onions. I'm going to get let that brown off a little bit. Be plenty of good flavours coming from that. So we'll let those flavours combine for a couple of minutes. The smell already, the aroma already is unbelievable. All the good things are going in there though. Oh, I've just remembered, I want to put in a little bit of coriander as well that I've got here. I just want to put in the stalk of the coriander. I'll quickly chop them up as well. Just the stalks for the coriander that we're going to put in. Smells amazing. That's all started to brown and soften and combine really nicely. So we're gonna put in the tomatoes next. In go our tomatoes, we'll stir that around a little bit. Lime zest as well. About two tablespoons of our sweet soy sauce. About that much. OK, 
combine that all in together. And we're gonna add about a tablespoon of fish sauce as well. That has come to a boil, so it's nice and hot and everything's combining really nicely in there. So what we'll do now is add in our crabs and just stir the crabs through a little bit, just so they're covered. And then we're gonna put a lid on our pan so that everything can cook through. In go our crabs. Sit them in there. We'll just give them a bit of a stir through the old crabs. Stir through everything there. Make sure they're really sitting in. Now we want to turn the heat down so it's just down to a simmer. It is really boiling at the moment. So we'll turn that right down. Just to probably about half heat. And then going to put a lid on as well. Cannot find a lid that fits that pan. So a little bit oversized, but that should do the job, keeping all that heat in there to really steam the crab and make sure that the crab is cooked through. Probably five minutes, we'll check on it then and see how it's going. It might need another couple of minutes after that. I left it for about six minutes just to make sure everything is cooked through, but the color at the moment of those crabs is just looking perfect. So let's get the lid off and I'm gonna add in a ooh, bit of steam. Gonna add in um, our limes as well. So we had our two limes, I've just quartered those. We're gonna chuck the juice in of those limes. Let's give everything a nice big stir. Looking perfect in there. So good. Smells incredible too. Smells so nice. Let's scatter in a little bit of coriander as well. I love a bit of coriander. So we're going to put some of that in. And a little bit of lime in there as well. We've squeezed them already, but let's sit that in there too. And that can cook through it a little bit too. How good, amazing. That is looking absolutely incredible. The smell, the aroma of those really fresh ingredients is amazing. And then that, you know, orangey red crab combined with the greens of the coriander and the lime is making it look almost too good to eat. Now, to eat it, the best thing for eating is to get some newspaper and sit outside with it. I'm not gonna show that because it's incredibly messy when you eat chili crab. Uh, I'll try a little bit now just so I can show you how good it is, but definitely the best way to eat chili crab out the back on your back deck or wherever on your picnic table with some newspaper down and you can just pile it all on there. Look at this, incredible. We'll get some meat out of here. Look at that, beautiful. <laughs> that is so good. That's this straight out crab. That is amazing. Let's get a little bit of our sauce onto it as well. With the tomato, a bit of coriander as well. I've actually even impressed myself on this one. As I said, really messy. That coriander's just dropped all over the bench. I'm gonna get outside, eat it on the back deck with the newspaper down. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.